Next week, Fort Bend ISD is going to decide if they want to phase in face-to-face -face learning. The school board approved a preliminary plan last night. Channel 2's Rochelle Turner spoke to parents and students who say they miss being in school. And she's live at district headquarters in Sugarland. Rochelle? That's exactly right. Good afternoon to you. Many families and students tell me they want to go back to school. One parent tells me it's important for students to have that face-to-face -face interaction with teachers, and they say they miss their friends and having a social life. 100% they need to go back to school. <laughs> That's Christy Donaldson. Her oldest daughter, Chloe, is a student in Fort Bend ISD, and her two youngest daughters, Leah and Madeline, are homeschool. It's a lot. It's, it's a lot of stress on the families. As the garage door opens, the Donaldsons can't wait to take a break from virtual learning. They tell me they want to go back to school. I actually do like to homeschool, but I am missing my friends. I don't want to leave my mom. I just want to go back to school because I feel like I don't learn properly at home. On Wednesday, the Fort Bend ISD School Board approved a preliminary plan to delay in-person learning for up to four weeks, which will allow time to phase in face-to-face -face learning. These teachers are doing an absolute amazing job. It's not the same for the children. They need to be learning, they need to be hands-on, they need to be seeing, they need to be touching, they need to be playing. Staff could return as early as September 23rd, and students could come back on the 28th. The district even has videos that shows how the school environment could look. If we wanted, and frankly, our parents are holding us accountable for providing the highest quality instructional program. And the district tells me they're going to have a special meeting sometime next week in regards to the phasing of face-to-face -face learning. And parents are going to have until next Tuesday to decide if they want to keep their kids home for virtual learning or send them back to the classroom. We're live from Fort Bend ISD. I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC, Channel 2 News.